Um, so are there any questions for Monday? <laughs> Tuesday, whatever. The first day this week. <laughs> any questions? I'll back in the habit of AutoCAD. All right. So today we're going to talk about isometrics. So isometric is when we're looking at the object from the corner. Right. What's the benefit of looking at it like this? Yeah, well, that's what you can measure it, but what's why, what's better looking at that than mostly the whole part? And you see three sides at once, right? Right. You can see the top, the front, and the side all the time. So it's either the top, the front, the right side, the top, the front, and the left side, or you can tilt it the other way and do the left side, the right side, and the bottom. We if we rotated it. like that. Now it's the front, the right, and the bottom. But usually we do it top, front, right side. <clears throat> These lines here are at 30 degrees. So what's a good way to draw those 30 degree lines? Turn Not okay. Turn the snap, or the, the tracking to 30? Yeah, say so your puller tracking to 30 degrees, right? Then you can draw right on those 30 degree lines, no problem. And it also snaps 90, draw straight up. So anything that's all on those one, of, one of those angles is true length. So we just draw it the, the real length of it. Okay? <coughs> anything that's not on one of these angles, you can't measure. So if I had a line like that, I can't measure that. I'd have to find where this point is, find where that point is, and then connect them. Okay? Questions? I see some blank looks. Yes, no. It's just more. This is just early. Yeah. And we'll do inclines in a few weeks. We'll talk about that a lot more. And circles are ellipses, right? So. We turn a circle on its side, we an ellipse. So how do we show ellipses, how do we draw ellipses in AutoCAD? Isometric ellipses. Isocircle? Yeah, we use an isocircle in the ellipse command. So if I go to AutoCAD, something to get it to show up. Anyone know what that is? Rotation? No. What? Rotation? Uh, Type in ISO? There's a circle? There's a new UCS. Baseball? No. <laughs> well, we need to turn on the isometric grid. So any idea of where to do that? Down in our options. So we right click on the grid or the O snaps on your phone. You go to settings, isometric snap. So look at my cursor now. My cursor now instead of being a plus, now it's got a red line like this and a green line going up and down. If I hit F5, it switches. So I hit a five. It switches between the different the three planes. So I'm going to set to thirty. Then I want to draw that one by one cube, so I can go one. One by 
I wanted to do. So now if I go to Ellipse, and you can see it by picking the button, it automatically jumped me to the second step. I'm just going to escape and then enter. And now I can do an eye for isocircle. Oh, that's not right. F5. F5. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I for isocircle. So first you turn on the isometric snap, and then you can use the ellipse command in the ISO circle to get the circle set. Show us where it is again. Right click down on the grid, settings, isometric snap. Okay. Oh, and you can also right click on polar settings or object snap or any of these, you know, bring it up. You're done, just set it back to rectangular, you're right for that. Uh -huh. Changes is it adds the only thing that doing this does is it changes and it adds that isocircle command back. In. If you were using the ortho and you draw a line, right now it's stuck at 90. If I did that, you then it'll draw it at an angle. So back when all we had is ortho. It, that was good too, but now we don't use ortho. We use polar tracking, so it doesn't matter. So basically, all it does now is it adds in the ISO circle command into the lips. That's all we really care about. So, questions? Any other questions? If I have this and I want, draw, I want to draw it in isometric, what am I going to do? Find which uh, face is closest to the edge. Oh, to draw it? Start with the face, right? Yeah. I'll probably start with the more descriptive face here, and I'll draw it. <clears throat> and here's like that one. I can't just draw this line in there. But you got the point. If so I can measure the grid, or I can measure horizontal and vertical distances. <clears throat> so, so if I start at this corner here, thing in there, right? So, go ahead and do this one on an AutoCAD. 